You can probably hear the rain outside. Um, a great day for indoor work. Today I'm taking apart my Vicon spreader. And last year I did some work on it just before the spreading season. It was one I got from a neighbour behind a ditch. And I put all new parts in it um, last year. And I said this year I'll do the bearings. The bearings were getting a bit noisy. And rather than letting them fall out, uh, completely and breaking something, I said this year I'll redo it. So it was easy enough to take off the plates and the bolts because they were all pretty new. And it's quite old. It's had lots of work, I'm sure. I'm just after getting this off with a stuff. And you can see here that I move around to a better angle. You can see all the play in that. So, in that arm, this main bearing has a lot of play in it as well. And probably. That one there has a bit of play in it, in the knuckle. I don't know the correct terms for all these, but um, I read a little bit online, apparently. There'll be a lot of foul words used before we get all these bearings out and stripped, um, because I'd be working with limited tools here. Anyway, um, that's the project for today. So we'll give it a try and see how we get on. So I've got the other cap off and if I look at this uh, arrangement here, I couldn't make out what was going on there because the other side is all corroded. But there's um, a bolt here holding in uh, what we call it, a large washer on the side of the bearing. Um, and it looks like a 17 now. That bearing was replaced, so this bearing is okay. Whoever replaced it. First of all, um, tore all the sides off the bowl, taking it out. And you can even see here, they had to use a chisel to get it out. Why would you put that one back in though? Um, obviously they didn't think that anyone would ever be coming back to it. So, they're changing stuff like that, put in new bolts. So here we are, a few minutes later, it's all apart. It's actually easy enough to take apart, well, the main shaft just popped out and uh, this piece, sorry, just to give you some context, this piece here goes in there and it just slipped right out. For some reason I think that's a homemade solution there, it looks like it was packed with kind of uh, metal putty if that's the right word something like that anyway um, the main bearing seems okay where is it um, there it is there so we've got that bearing on the top that's fine and the bearing below is fine there's a cap underneath that's okay the two Caps for these bearings are okay, so I'm going to take this to the vise and I'm going to apply a bit of heat there and try and chisel off that bolt and obviously replace it with a new bolt and um, not like the last guy. <laughs> so listen, they're very very simple sort of things. Um, it's only spreading a ton, two ton of fertilizer a year here. So um, I'll get the bits from Paddy Cattle and Clamellon. Uh, depending on how Paddy is on the day, he might say, listen, here you're wasting your time, go and buy a new one. In that case, you might have to get the bits somewhere else. Um, because last year when I went to him, he said, listen, leave it behind the hedge. Go and buy yourself a fertilizer spreader. Now he was right, of course he was right. But like the economics of it for me, um, spreading once a year, a ton and a half, maybe um, over 10 acres, that doesn't really make sense. So for me, it's a challenge and I love keeping old things going. So uh, nothing to say that the one you buy from whoever isn't going to drop a bearing on the first uh, day either. So, and you wouldn't have much of a guarantee 
unless you go to uh, a dealer so anyway that's uh, the plan anyway so here we are back at the bench and um, been hammering at this for quite a while and we've just started to make a move on it um, it was basically all rusted in together but the nut has now started to move slightly so I think we're on a winner here definitely won't be putting that nut back bolt even So I'm not sure if you can see that now, but um, you can see there when I cooled it, it cracked along the the cut line. It went pretty close, but um didn't score the shaft, obviously. So just um, nibble away until you think you're nearly there. Then heat it up and cool it, and it should um, pop. Just be careful. I gave it a few belts of the hammer. Um, the bearing material is... Uh, pretty, what would you say, ductile, no not ductile, um, brittle, make sure you have glasses on, bits will start flying at you. So hopefully it should come off easy enough now, um, to be honest, there's no pressure on it, look. Almost like cheating. Okay, that was too easy. There we go. Uh, the inside just barely scored. Now, that was easy. This one, on the other hand, uh, is not going to be so easy. Because there's nothing to grip it with. And it's hard to... You can't get the grinder in there to cut it either. So, I've heated it. And left it steeping overnight, so I'll heat it again and just leave it steeping and hopefully it'll work its way out. So I've got the second um, inner shell, outer shell even, bearing out. Um, and your friend here is Heat, GTX, GT even 85 and a coal chisel. And it'll even knock the edges off the chisel, the serious stuff in the bearings. Um, and this one shattered, which I didn't care about, but just be careful, make sure you have uh, goggles on, it's very brittle stuff. Um, that's it there. So, got uh, a couple of new bearings on the way home from uh, school today. Met one of my past pupils there and had a good chat. Um, so that's that will be done at the weekend um, and we have this all cleaned up here. So time is against me here, I've chickened out of the whole project. Um, Obviously, the further I went, the more that needed to be done. I took the whole piece off the frame and cleaned it down. I was intended on painting it with Ultrol and then a coat, a couple of coats of um, enamel paint. Anyway, all I managed to do was um, get three coats of uh, Ultrol onto uh, this part here, actually, the, the main part and the uh, uh, wishbone, if that's the right word for it. Um, you'll see the new bearings in there Even the bolts that were going through here mounting onto the frame were absolutely stitched Okay, so it was heating and beating is all I can say lots of it um, Plenty of penetration oil put on it left for a few days, but as soon as you heat it and then um, Beat it you're, you're kind of on a winner you get you just have to stick with it So for this year anyway, it's going to go back together 
um i need to sp spread fertilizer we're after getting a dry spell now the ground is is um drying up well so i need to do that the weekend so it's back together for the moment so she ain't really pretty but it's very functional the bairns are nice and quiet now and all is working fine I spray some diesel on it just to stop the fertilizer from sticking on it. 